Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hayley of So Hayley Jane. Um, and I hope you're having a really lovely day. So, if you don't know me, I run So Hayley Jane, which is a sewing subscription box company. Um, if you check back to my videos before, you get to see some of the unboxings and some of the dresses that I've, or outfits that I've made with the fabrics from the boxes. But I'm gonna try something a little bit different today, something I've not really done before. So in the boxes, I also include sets of fat quarters. The boxes are always themed every month, so the fat quarters and the fabric and the other notions and gifts that go in the boxes all come together to form a theme. And February's theme was To Me, Love Me. So it was very much a sort of Valentine's -y theme, but it was all about giving yourself a gift. Um, and in there I included some of these gorgeous fat quarters. So this one has sort of dandelion seed heads on with um, little hearts all around them. Then this one has rain clouds with hearts coming down from them. And then this one, there were two others as well, but these are the three that I'm using, has a hand print and the hands are making hearts which is super cute. So there are three fat quarters in the mini box, four in the classic and five in the luxury. Um, yeah, and so I thought I would start doing some sort of tutorials of things that you can make, quick, simple things that you can make with the fat quarters. It's not something I've really done before, so I don't know how this is gonna go. I hope it goes well. Um, so the th first thing I'm gonna make today is a, it's called like a, I've seen them called a bento bag or an origami bag. It uses three fat quarters. It's super simple. Um, and I am trying really hard, like lots of people, to try and reduce my plastic waste. I am trying so hard to remember when I go to the shops to take bags with me and not get new plastic bags. Um, quite often I forget and I get to the checkout and realise I've either left them in the car or I haven't even put them in the car and they're still by the front door. <laughs> so I thought if I make some then maybe I will remember because they will be beautiful and I want to show them off. So I have made this before. I did, I posted about it on my blog about three, maybe three and a half years ago, um, which is crazy. Has it really been going that long? <laughs> um, it's not an original pattern. I'll link, <clears throat> I will link to the original source below. Um, but yeah, I thought I would sew it and try and talk you through it and see how it goes. <laughs> so I, uh, yes, I'm using these three pieces. Two of the fat quarters, so you're gonna sew them into a strip. So the middle fat quarter is going to be 17 inches by 17 inches, so it's a square. The other two fat quarters, you're gonna cut down to 17 by 16 and a half inches. So it's only a half inch difference. Um, so yeah, that's the first bit. Then the second bit, like I said, you're gonna sew them into a long strip. So you want your middle piece to be, I mean, it's barely a rectangle, but you want the sort of rectangle piece there and the other two pieces over here. So I'm gonna use my overlocker. If you wanted to French seam them, you could. You could sew the seams with a quarter of an inch seam allowance, right, wrong sides together, then press it open and press it around and sew with another quarter of an inch seam allowance, but I'm gonna use my overlocker. So I'm gonna sew a five eighths of an inch or one and a half centimeter seam allowance. Um, and yeah, go from there. So first thing I'm going to do, so this one is going to be my middle piece and then the other two are gonna be either side. So I am gonna put them right sides together. And you can just about see there that that ever so slightly longer piece is um, that way around and I'm gonna sew along this edge here. Okay, so that's the first, first one done. I should have used a contrasting thread. So I'm really sorry that you can't see that. Um, but there we go, that's the first one done. And then I'm gonna attach the second one here before I take it over to the um, overlocker and iron. So a bit of batch sewing. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly finish those seams and then I will take them over to the iron to give them a good press. 
Um, as you can see, I'm not using pins at the moment. Quilting cotton is such a lovely, stable cotton. So, and it's just, it's quite a short seam, so I don't really feel like I need to use pins. Um, but if you are a beginner, then absolutely go ahead and use some pins. So obviously you don't have to use um, an overlocker. You can, I think I said already, you can use French seams or a zigzag seam. I'll be honest, I was going to do French seams and I messed it up straight away <laughs> because I sewed them wrong sides together and then trimmed the seam and you're supposed to start by sewing right sides together. <sighs> Classic rookie mistake, Hayley. But anyway, so I've used the overlocker. Um, but like I said, you could just do a zigzag stitch or you could even get fancy if you have some bias binding um, and do Hong Kong style seams where you use a bias binding to um, enclose the raw edges. Anyway, I'm going to go press those open and I'll be right back. Okay, I have just pressed those seams open. So you can see now we have one long rectangle of fabric and then the next step is to hem all four edges so I've already ironed them over I've just done a double fold hem um, you can see of about a centimeter and then fold it again by a centimeter I realized doing this I kind of flit between centimeters and inches so I'm sorry if that's very confusing <laughs> does anyone else do that um, it's whatever is more convenient according to the machine or what measuring device I have to hand but anyway so yes I will just show you so I folded it folded every edge over by a centimeter and like that and then I went round again and folded it by another centimeter so that the raw edges are all enclosed like that and I'm just going to sew all the way along to hem it um, you could get fancy here and have a go at metered corners so that you get a really nice finish on the corners, but I'm not gonna bother with that now because <laughs> that's not what this tutorial is about. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go around quickly and hem all of that. So for those of you who are totally new to dressmaking, I'm just gonna show you how to stitch around a corner. So I've just got this little bit left to do, but before we start, you want to make sure that your needle is in the down position. So um, if you have an electronic machine like mine, just turn this up here. I'm just gonna press this, whoop, this button here, <laughs> um, just to push, put the needle in the down position. Um, if you don't have an electronic machine, then you just, as you get closer, you just wanna make sure that your needle, that you stop, when you stop, your needle is in the down position. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna sew this bit here. And then you're gonna want to stop before you reach the edge. So just like that. So you can see there's still about a centimeter of fabric left to at the end but we're going to stop there we're going to lift the presser foot up and we're just going to rotate the fabric around like so and then when you put it down you can see um, so I was doing it about two inches which is this little dot just here and that's where I want it to carry on and then yeah you just carry on Okay, so to construct the bag, we've got our lovely long rectangle and we're going to name the pieces A, B and C. So to make the bag now, we're going to fold C this way on top of B, like so. And we're just going to stitch along here. So you can use the stitching line that you um, used to sew your hem as a guide. So that's the next bit we're just going to sew along there. Okay, so we've sewn those together. Then we're going to flip it over so that the edge you've just sewn is now down here. We're going to fold piece, so this is piece, piece C now. We're going to fold this back so that it's out of the way. Might need to do a little bit of sort of fiddling around. 
and then we're going to bring piece A over onto piece B and again we're going to stitch exactly the same as you did just now along this piece together. So we've got piece A and piece B now and we're going to stitch along there making sure that this piece, the piece that you've just sewn, piece C, is out of the way. You don't want to stitch that in. Okay, and then, so you've done that, we're just going to flip it, uh, flip it around so that it's the right sides out. Push those corners out. You can, if you want to, you can also um, make the corners like a box. Um, but that's an alternative step. So you now have this and you can see how it's starting to look like a bag. So there are a few ways that you can then finish this. If you take it out, you can use it exactly like this and you can tie the ends together. Like so, and you've got a cute little bag. Ta da! So that's a sim super simple way. You could also, um, let me unfold this, you could just sew these two edges together uh, like that, and then you could also make a little strap to go around, um, a little sort of patch almost. But there you have it. That is your bag. A, a voila. You can put things inside the bag that you've just made and fold it up. Super simple, super cute, loving it. Um, I've also seen, let me just, da, 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 hello. <laughs> uh, I've also seen people make bento bags like this to use as a way of wrapping gifts as well, which is so cool. I love that idea. But yeah, that's, that's your bag. That's it. It's so easy. It's so quick, so simple. Um, like I say, you can make, uh, you can also make like a rectangle of fabric um, that you would then, I'm trying to think of the best way of explaining it, but you could sew that together and put a rectangle of fabric around just to hide th that edge there. But yeah, et voila, one rather gorgeous stylish bag. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching that. I really enjoyed making that. I think I definitely need to refine my style a bit, but if you made it this far, then thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. Like that. Click like, click subscribe for more videos and hopefully more of these kind of fat quarter tutorials in the future. Thank you so much everyone and I'll see you all really soon. Bye.